Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about seamless textures and in particular wallpaper textures. I received a support request from a student of the SketchUp Hub who's currently on course 5 window treatment elevations. This is the actual window treatment elevation I teach you to create which is on the screen at the minute and I also show you how to transform it into a watercolour. But this particular student was trying to apply a wallpaper to this wall and she was encountering problems trying to crop the wallpaper pattern into a seamless texture. So this is the actual link that she sent me. This is the pattern or the image that she's trying to work with and I can see instantly why she would have been experiencing issues with this because this actual image doesn't have the full singular pattern, okay? The pattern that's going to be repeated across the entire surface or face in your SketchUp model or scene. So you can see right here, oh, uh, sorry, I'll just, I'll point to it um, in my video. So you can see at the very bottom there, is that a pomegranate? I'm not on it. I'm not honestly sure. Let's just call it a a bit of fruit. You can see at the very bottom there's a bit of fruit there and if we look up to the top of that image we can't see that being repeated again. It's not actually being repeated in this image and therefore we can't use it because this little snapshot of this wallpaper doesn't include the entire singular pattern repeat. Okay? Um, if we scroll down, we can see that there's another image available. And if you look at these two um, pieces of fruit and then these two up here, you can see that there is a repeat there. It is following through. However, um, and there is a repeat here as well with these leaves. But this is an actual photograph of that wallpaper. And if you look here, it's actually a little bit lighter than it is here. This is going to cause so many issues. So I wouldn't even recommend um, using this either. Um, you know, it's just not worth it. What I would recommend is, let's just go back to this original. What I would recommend is doing a search online using this description right here for a better sample of this wallpaper that includes the entire repeat. That's what we need. And I always use Wallpaper Direct website. It is fantastic and I'm going to show you why. So let's copy that description. I've already got the Wallpaper Direct website up on my screen. I'm going to right click and select paste and then search. Boom, there it is right there, okay? Now, this obviously we can't use because this is a folded image of the paper. But if you click right here, you'll see, um, well, you'll see the words show full pattern. So if you click that, you get to see the entire repeated version of that wallpaper. This is an excellent place to start so that you can crop this image to get a singular repeat so that you can use it in your SketchUp file. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to print screen this image that we can see right now. I'm going to go into Photoshop. Uh, you would go to File and then New and then just paste that, okay? And now what I'm going to do is crop it. And with a pattern like this, you want to choose a cropping area that's as simple as possible. So what I'm going to do is instead of using the leaves as um, the repeat area, I'm going to use the fruit. So if I bring this down and just go to the halfway mark of this piece of fruit here, I'm going to do the same down here because there's the repeat that right there. It's actually quite a long repeat, you know, in height. So I'm going to bring this up to the halfway mark because it's easy to distinguish that. And then we're going to crop it um, on the horizontal as well. So I'm going to bring it all the way across and what I'm going to do is go to, I was going to say the halfway mark on this uh, piece of fruit, 
but there's actually a stem right there and that could be a little bit annoying. So let's just go to the right of that stem so we don't have to consider that. This is just ways to make it as easy as possible to create a seamless crop area so that when you tile it in SketchUp, it's seamless. And we're just going to go to the right uh, of that stem again. Um, if you're finding it difficult to be exact here, uh, just zoom in so that you can make it easier to crop that area. Okay, because I do appreciate that it can be difficult working at this image size. So all you have to do is go to view and then zoom in so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. And I think that's us done. Um, I might need to move that in a little more. Oh, now it's pixelating. Let me just move that in a little bit more. And there we go. And then just click the move tool, click off that and that's us. So I'm going to save this as an image in its own right on my computer. Uh, coal and sun wallpaper and save that as a JPEG and then save. Okay, let's go back into our SketchUp file. We're going to, I'm going to click on the materials tab. We're going to create a new material called wallpaper and okay. And let's bring this texture in. Okay, so I saved it in here. Please don't judge me. The documents on my desktop need to be uh, gone through. It's really horrendous. And then open. Okay. And then just click on that wall. Now what I'm going to do for the purposes of this tutorial is just hide that because they're a little bit distracting because they have a different uh, fabric as well. Now I want to make sure that the scale of this wallpaper is precise and reflects reality. So here is Let's go back into here. Here is the actual scale on a real life photograph, which is very useful, okay? So it is actually quite a large pattern. And if I zoom in here and use the tape measure and take the repeat. So let's use this piece of fruit and go down to the same one down here. You can see that the repeat on that, on the vertical, is 306 okay and let's look at what the pattern repeat is you can see here the pattern repeat is 76 um so we don't have that right okay so what we're going to do is amend it in this area right here so let's type in here 760 and then just let's just come out of that and you know what? I'm just going to remove that pattern because it is so distracting. Okay. And now when we measure the distance, it's 760 mil. And that's exactly what it should be in reality. I think it's probably not the best pattern to have for this elevation. So I brought it over to a bathroom elevation that I already had on my computer and just modified the colors a little. And it, it actually looks really lovely in a bathroom setting with a little bit of paneling detail, etc. Anyway, that is how you create a seamless wallpaper texture, particularly for a slightly more complex pattern for SketchUp.